it looks like we're not that many today, but let's still start. Um, so regarding mainnet, uh, we've been talking a bit about like the claim functionality, uh, or I guess automatic claims uh, in this case. And basically we run uh, a script that automatically claimed withdrawals for everyone, uh, every few minutes or hours, I'm not quite sure. And people were not very happy with that uh, because they were getting spammed and then maybe there's uh, some tax related issues. So we stopped that. Um, and we are probably going to go with like a opt-in solution. So basically you go to a website, you sign a transaction, while well, you sign a message or something um to say that you want uh to enable to automatic withdrawals and then we'll do it that way and in case spelling becomes an issue as anyone can claim for any address then we can still update the deposit contract at that time to require maybe an eip 712 or something signature uh so that's just as the uh, for information i guess uh regarding the checkpoint sync issue um so you actually got it fixed kind of it's very janky um basically the issue is that uh, checkpoint z uses go eth to client uh which uses fast ssz and basically uh the the preset values for ethereum are hard coded uh including for example the max number of withdrawals um which makes it so that when the roots while well, the, the trees the, the Mercury tree root is calculated for that uh, for the withdrawals. Uh, it's incorrect because there's one well, it's too deep by one depth. Uh, so basically, the entire uh, root hash is in broke root hash is incorrect, uh, which is which broke uh, checkpoint Z. So we forked checkpoint Z a dependency of that and go it to clients to hot code our own values inside it. But it's really not great. So we are working on finding a better solution. Maybe if anyone here uh, has some good Go exp Golang experience, uh, that could be useful. Um, but we can talk about this offline. Uh, so yeah, those are the, I guess, two big points for now for mainnet. Um, unless something, someone has anything to add, let's move on to uh, Hive tests. Uh, yeah. Okay, Guillaume. Yeah. Um, so, okay. I I'm only discovering this problem. Like I also received a message from Lion just before the call. Um, so what needs to do to happen is you you still want to maintain a fork of uh, checkpoint Z with your changes or like because it doesn't sound to me like you this is what you wanted to do. So uh, to, like yes. when you ask for someone with Golang experience, do you still intend to keep it this way or what? What else would be needed to to occur for this to not happen? The the fork not to be having to be maintained. So I'm not entirely sure. So right now the the fork that's I mean we don't want to do this in the in the long term ideally. Um, so basically we just updated those values and then generated the file again. Whatever uh, it's easy enough, but we have to maintain three different dependencies and always like release a new one of each and then i mean it's a bit painful uh so ideally that's not uh, what we want to go with and then i opened an issue as an idea starter i i mean i know a bit of go but i'm not like uh, um a long-term developer of it so I, I don't really know but the way it works currently is that basically you have those ssd max values which for example for withdrawals were uh, 16 for mainnet uh, and we have coded this to eight. And then with that, it, um, it generates those files. Uh, and what I'm thinking is the first things first, uh, fastest that we cannot be used for, uh, different presets, right? Because if you install fastest that we, it's always going to be either one or the other, which makes it impossible to write tools that support multiple presets. Right. So what I was thinking was maybe to add some I mean, but again, I, I'm not sure if this is uh, so. Well, so there's two potential solutions. One is if they add some way to identify this variable as being, uh, for example, max withdrawals per payload, so that we can kind of automatically at least update those and release our own version. But even then, we would still have to uh, 
maintain three different uh, packages so that check checkpoint works, or something like this maybe, where this variable is injected. Uh, so instead of the number, this here would be a variable that would be imported from some presets, basically. Mm -hmm. So that would be ideal. And then in this in in this way, maybe it would be possible with like a global function to say. I uh, use this config or whatever, and then it will fetch the, but again, I'm not sure if that's possible. And then it would fetch the like max withdrawal per payload from this specific like preset or package or whatever, uh, which could potentially make it so that it's dynamic and that you can use fast SSD for multiple different presets. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll need to dig deeper. Let's, let's take that offline. Oh, okay, awesome, perfect. Um, all right, uh, then Hive tests, Marcus. Well, there is no bigger days for Hive tests this week. All right. Uh, regarding client updates, never mind. Uh, no updates on our end. Okay, Aragon. Um, no updates. We we are still mostly we've been busy with uh, Dancon, but um, Guillaume and I are looking at a. Like um, and debugging a particular block, so uh, I'll try to to also to 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 help Guillaume with that. All right. Uh, well, Guillaume, then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm still uh, fine. Yeah, exactly. Like uh, Andrew said, I'm still trying to debug that thing. I uh, made some progress, so at least I validated that my uh, fee collection was working. Because uh, at least the collector contract uh, gets exactly what it should. Uh, what I'm still not sure of, and I uh, hope uh, that and, uh, Andrew can help me with, is that um, I'm not sure if the reward contract writes anything to the state. Because from what I can see, everything is written just like Erigan writes it. So yeah, I'm a bit confused by why the root is incorrect. Uh, there are three oh, three avenues that i'm uh, looking into right now either i made a, an error while importing the the whole data so that would explain why the root is incorrect even though all the proper values are being written to or um, somehow there's something missing from what i see during the block execution but from what i can look at i, I went through all the data everything is correct or and that's the last thing i'm trying to validate the um, the reward contract actually writes something to the state so yeah if um, one of them has to be wrong trying to figure out which one uh, which one went wrong so yeah that's pretty much it awesome thank you um so yeah quick update for lighthouse as well so we had this um uh this pull request to add Chiado, um so that you can run it, sort of, I mean, with the network config, whatever. Uh, and it wasn't passing tests. And basically, there was an issue where uh, Lighthouse selected the preset based on the network name instead of the preset base in the config file. So this was fixed. It broke tests. But now this is OK. Uh, so hopefully, this gets uh, merged soon. Um, and then on Gateway's uh, sides, I think no one could join. So basically, they tested the launchpad, so the deposit UI uh, on mainnet, and it's working. So that's linked to the update from MGNO to GNO and the, the changes in deposits. Um, yeah, and that's all I have on the agenda today. Uh, yeah, Ruben? And could you repeat the problem uh, with Lighthouse? Yeah, it was just like they just selected the wrong uh, presets uh, for Chiado because they selected it based. Well, I can just show you, I guess. I, I, it's nothing very important. Um, no, wait. Commits. Yeah, so basically, they selected the, the presets based on the network name. So they checked if the network is Gnosis, then use the, the Gnosis preset presets. But they had to check the preset base, and it's not uh, the name, basically. So because then Shadow was still using the, um, the Ethereum mainnet presets instead of the Gnosis presets. But that's all good now. Ah, gotcha. Thank you.
All right. Uh, does anyone have anything to say? Any questions, any comments? Line, is there anything I forgot? All good. All right. Well, this was a very short and sweet one then. Thanks, everyone, for joining, and see you next week. Thank you. Bye, bye guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, 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 everyone. Thank you, guys. Bye, bye guys.